Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. So it is Saturday, which means the roadmap has been updated. Now for 3.4, being in wave 2 PTU now, I believe it is, uh, everything has reached the polishing phase. This is definitely a good sign that it will be coming to the open PTU or even the live build any day now. It shouldn't take too long to get there. I know they, they tend to cut down the PTU waves uh, and just publish it to live as soon as possible. The only thing that is missing from the PTU at the moment is the Anvil Hawk. This is as of Friday evening, so fingers crossed sometime tomorrow on Saturday or even Sunday that they publish it with the Hawk in itself. I have had a go with all the freelancers. They look really cool. They've all got their little component slots now, uh, but we are just waiting on the Hawk. Uh, I have found 3.4 to be quite good. I've had a single client crash and seen a bug where the freelancer literally destroys itself in the hangar before you even get in it. But everything else seems in good shape. The mission givers work to a point. I have heard some missions don't update uh, the locations as to where they're supposed to be. But I suppose that's why it's still PTU. Hopefully they get all the missions working, ready for the holidays. Uh, I am very much looking forward to bringing back my gameplay series. Anyway, moving on to 3.5 quickly for characters. The DNA face customization is at 29 out of 60. The playable female characters are at 72 out of 91. And we saw a little nice update of this during ATV, so it is coming along very well. For locations, the Arc Core planet is still scheduled, but we have seen them trying new techniques to increase the planet's visuals, uh, again on ATV, the, the latest one. Uh, Area 18 is now at 9 out of 117. Last week, that was at 8 out of 116, so although they've completed a task, they have added a new one. For ships, in 3.5, the Banu Defender is at 12 out of 59, so there's a long way to go there still. And then finally for Cortec, the only thing to change is the object container streaming code conversion improvements, which is now at 1 out of 4. So it looks like focus is very much on 3-4. This is to be the last patch of the year, so as I say, I'm hoping they leave us with something solid and fun to play over the holiday break. So long as missions are working well, I'm pretty sure we'll have enough to keep us busy until they get back in the new year. If you are interested in seeing a gameplay series, do hit the thumbs up button. Uh, next week could be the last roadmap update that we get before the new year as well, and I do hope we get the Squadron 42 roadmap uh, added to this section. As we were told, it should be coming in December, so fingers crossed we get that soon. Anyway, it's a short but sweet roadmap update, guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already. Tick up the notification bell as well, just so that you get notified when my videos go live. If you want to hang out and fly with me and fly with us all, over on twitch.tv forward slash Ryan. Do follow the link below to join in. Big shout out to all my patrons. My latest patron, Mr. Yellow. Thank you so much for your support, sir. And that goes to all of my patrons. If you are interested in supporting my channel even further, do check out the link to my Patreon page below. It is very much appreciated. Thank you for watching, guys. And I shall see you next time.